everyone, welcome. My name is Angela, and if you're new here, my channel is all about fashion entertainment while showing you budget-friendly finds for women in their 40s and beyond. If that kind of thing sounds good to you and you wanna see more videos about that in the future, consider hitting that red subscribe button. Okay, I had to contain myself to turn on this camera because I was gonna go with, I fell off the deep end, right, with this video, and you're gonna see why in a minute. Then I show my daughter what I'm wearing right now that for me is being off the deep end. I'm like, what do you think of this? She's like, no, looks like you have cankles. I was dying, okay, I was dying. So let me back up and show you why I said in the thumbnail that I went off the deep end. So if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I am a skinny jean girl, okay? High rise, skinny jeans, that's my thing. Well, I went off the deep end with trying some different jeans today. I've got a boot cut on, they're mid rise, like right there is enough to throw me way off, okay? But we're gonna go with it. I have about 10 items to share with you that are new at Walmart today besides what I'm wearing. And you know what? People were telling me in my comments, check out Sophia Lagara. So I did. They don't have it in my stores, uh, my Walmart stores locally. So I had to check it out online. So I've got three items out of the 10 today that are from her line. So I thought we would just start with that and we're gonna start with the jeans, okay? Are, are you guys ready for this? All right, here we go. Okay, so let me back up. So the outfit I created was with this raspberry, strawberry, I don't know, colored jacket that I got from Wannable. It's cut from the cloth as a brand. I love this jacket, especially for summertime. It just really gives you a pop of color. Um, the top underneath came from Stitch Fix, which is a subscription box that you can uh, get a box basically that's shipped to your door that's put together by a stylist. So it's kind of a fun surprise. Um, I've ended up buying that through Stitch Fix, love it. And then these jeans are the first item that we're gonna talk about from Walmart today. So, like I said, I'm a high rise skinny jean girl. That's what I've been wearing for a while now. So going to mid rise is totally out of my comfort zone and going to boot cut is also way out of my comfort zone. But a lot of you were saying, try straight leg, try the boot cut, let's just see, right? So I listened to you. Here's what we got, ladies, here's what we got. These are by Sophia Lagara. They are the mid-rise boot cut jean. Uh, now I had to put a pair of heels on with these jeans because if I wore anything that was remotely flat, the jeans are gonna be wrapping under my heel and under my foot. Okay, it's not gonna work. And you know what? Right out of the gate, when I look at them in the mirror, I feel like, you know what? It does kind of balance out the hips, but I feel like it might make me look a little shorter. So I showed this to my daughter. I'm like, oh, you know, what do you think of these boot cut jeans? And, and honestly, like coming out of the mouth of babes, right? She's gonna give me her honest opinion, right? She's like, yeah, no, those look like you have cankles. So let, let me back up. Let's see if we agree with her, okay? Or is she just being, you know, yada, yada? Okay, here we go. Does it look like I have cankles? What do you think? I mean, there is a bunching of the material. I get that. I agree with that. Right down at the bottom. I feel like, so I'm 5'4", and, Sophia has to be a bit uh, taller than I am because if, if you were maybe two, three inches taller than I am, these would probably be beautiful and no one would ever think you have cankles, okay, like myself. Um, but maybe it's my height and it just kind of bunches at that bottom, you know? And maybe that's the appearance it gives. Okay, now I will tell you I got these in a size six which is my normal size for a pair of jeans. Um, I wasn't sure how they were gonna fit. I also ordered an eight. 
Uh, I have the six on right now and I'm saying they're perfect. Go with whatever normal size you wear if, if you're going in her line. Uh, they fit really well around the waist. They're not choking me out here, which is perfect. But with the mid rise, you know, some of you were laughing at me and you're like, how can you have spillage? It happens. Let me tell you, when I sit down, this part right here is coming over the top of the jean. It, it's happening. Okay. It's, it's for real. So with mid rise jeans, that's what I'm getting. That's why I like high rise so much because it comes up over that bubble. Okay so that I'm not getting this overflow over the top. It comes high enough, so that's kind of contained, and we're good to go, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, okay, we're gonna move on now. Okay, item number two is another Sophia garment. I saw this jacket, and I thought it was really cool. I love the belt on this jean jacket. So you guys are gonna laugh at me. I mean, you know I am like a total jean jacket fanatic, okay? So when I was on like looking at what she had to offer, I'm like, hello, when I saw this jacket. So let's try this on. I love the wash on it. I like the pocket. I like all the striping detail. The buckle looks great, you know? So I bought this in a size small. Okay, let's put this on and see what we've got. What in the world? There is a number three balloon attached to like a green heart balloon floating outside my window right now. That is really weird. Maybe a, a third birthday and the balloons kind of got away from them. Okay. Anyway, we're moving on. Okay, ladies, we might have a new jean jacket favorite. That's hard to do, okay? Because you know my darker jean jacket is like the jacket for me. So this one, okay, take a look at what it looks like just open like this. Love the jean wash, right? The arms are good. Uh, they, you know, button at the ends there, right? Just like normal. Now let me turn around. You can kind of see the bell going through the back. I like that it hits at a good length, right at the hips, right? So it kind of breaks up this bulkiness going on right here. So let's button this up now and kind of take a look at what does it look like buttoned and belted. Now here is with it buckled in the front. I made it a little tighter. I, I probably could go a little bit looser and it would still look good. And in fact, let's try that. So here's what it looks like a little, a little more fitted. Okay. But good length, isn't it? I love this. So here's the jacket, like one more loop let out just so it's not so tight. Uh, but anyways, I actually really like this look. It's kind of a little bit of a seventies vibe, but in a good way, you know, so you could wear lots of different, uh, tops underneath this but I just like the belted effect because it really brings in the waist a bit more. It does not have pockets at all. So, you know, if you can live with that, uh, it's really just for the look, you know? Okay, we're moving on. Okay, you guys, check out these jeans. They are so cool. Maybe a little scarecrow-ish uh, vibe, but you know what? <laughs> Again, you're gonna have to let me know what you think. So also by Sophia Lagara. They are a size six, which is my normal size. They were $26. So let me back up and show you what's going on. Okay, they are high rise, which check for me, right? That's a perfect, I love the high rise. Okay, so here we go with the fit. Now look at the bottoms, they are so cool. Let me back up, here we go. So they are kind of angled, they are kind of frayed at the bottom. It does kind of remind me of like a scarecrow pant, but they're kind of fun too, right? I mean, I'm gonna have to admit they're kind of fun. Here's what they look like from the side and then the back. I think they fit pretty well. I mean, they really do, even around the waist. And especially for me, that's where I have a problem with the gapping in the back. And there might be a tiny bit of that, but it's not a big deal. So I kind of like how different they are. I like the wash. Um, I like that they're $26 and I like the bottom because there's something different about them, right? Like you could wear this with a, a cute little tank like this with a pair of flat sandals or whatever in the summertime and these would look so cute. I mean, some of you I'm sure are gonna love them and some of you are gonna hate them, but let me know what you think. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, please tell me this. I am not the only person that this has happened to. Yeah, so I was just in the bathroom changing into this little number and I had these earrings on, remember? I'm taking them off and the first one that I get off flings, I don't even know what happened. I don't know what happened. It ended up in the toilet, yeah. Um, this is how my day is going, yeah. So I had to fish it out of the toilet this little beauty. Well, not this one, but the other one. And rinse it off in soap and water. I mean, really? Like, has that happened to people where they're changing in their bathroom and one of the earrings goes in the toilet? Please tell me I'm not alone on that. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing, but kind of funny, actually. Um, and that's why I shared it with you, because it's like, you know, these, he these things happen to everyone. Okay, so I put on this cute little dress by No Boundaries, from Walmart, of course. In No Boundaries, I always get a size up than what I would normally grab. Normally, I'm a small. In No Boundaries, I always grab a medium, and that's what I got in this dress. This is a tank-style dress, really soft cotton. Oh, I mean, really comfortable and soft. So let me back up and show you how nice this is. Then we're going to go and put some jean jackets on it to see if we can elevate the look even more, okay? Here we go. Isn't this cute? This is so cute. I love this. Very casual. Put on a pair of like little slide sandals or little strappy sandals. You're good to go. So here's from the front, from the side. Now, let me tell you, I put my shapewear on for this because I knew... If I didn't, there'd be a problem. So this is why I'm looking flat right here, ladies, the shapewear, yeah. All right, here we go from the back. I love this color, really love this color. It just looks so fun for summertime. Okay, so I'll be right back. Let's look at jean jackets with this. Okay, I'm thinking this white one's gonna be the ticket, but you'll have to let me know what you think. I tried the darker jean jacket, which I normally love, but with this, I feel like it's too dark. The pink might blend in a little bit too much with the other pink in this. I mean, really? Oh, okay. I've never had so much trouble putting on a jean jacket. Okay, here's the white with it. So you have this on with a pair of white slides, a little crossbody purse, some fun jewelry and you're done. You're you're good for the night, right? I love it. I'm going to keep this dress, honestly. I just need to remember that when well, it it will be hard to forget that I need to wear the shapewear with this dress. Yeah. Otherwise, no go. Yeah. No go, ladies. I did pick this dress up in a different tie-dye coloring. So let's take a look at that and see which one you guys like better. So this one, or hold on. Okay, same dress, different coloring. So let me back it up so you can see exactly what's going on here. So blue, white, that's what we have. This dress feels a bit longer to me, and I don't know why, because they should be the same exact dress. But I don't know, it feels a little longer. So here's the side view, here's the back. And let's put it on with a white jean jacket, just like the other one, and we will see how this looks. I'm kind of thinking I like the other one better, but I want to hear what you guys think. Okay, here's the dress with the white jean jacket. Again, white slides, maybe a, a pair of really light tan colored strappy sandals, flat or heels would be great. So what are we thinking? Vote on which one of these dresses is your favorite because I'm thinking I'm going to keep one of them. Um, so I want to wait to hear what you guys think. All right, so let's move on to the next item. Oh, you know I had to sneak some sleepwear in here, you know? Um, so <laughs> this is by Secret Treasures, the top and the bottom. They were each a little under $10 a piece. So I just thought this was a very fun pattern. They're very comfortable very soft feeling. So let me back up and show you the whole thing. Okay, so we've got this top um, with the shorts that come with it. Well, they actually don't come with it, but they match. Okay, so $10 for the top, 
$10 for the bottom part of these PJs, $20 you have an awesome you have an awesome summer PJ set, right? I love the pattern on here with all the white. It's a, almost like a marbling, isn't it? It's got the pink and the white and black and gray, so all the great colors. Very comfortable. I picked this up in a size small, and for me, if it's if it's great, I have no complaints. So here's the back. I just like something really comfortable in the summertime. Shorts, of course, um, to wear to bed like this. When I wear like a house dress, I guess you would call it the old days, um, they tend to ride up. So I like to wear shorts or in the wintertime, I like to wear pants that are kind of like a jogger fit so that the legs don't rise up when I'm trying to sleep and they're bunching, you know what I'm saying? So this is perfect for me in the summertime. Um, loving this and of course, you know I had to do it ladies. I had to put it on with my new slippers that I had from Secret Treasures as well. I love these things. I know they look goofy, I know it. But when you feel these on your feet, you might be changing your mind. Yeah, I'm telling you. And then you can walk outside with them if you need to. Let's move on and see what else I got. Okay, ladies, I am not sure what we're doing here, but we're giving it a whirl, okay? We're going off the deep end again with these shoes that I'm gonna show you. So the top, I don't even remember where I got the top from, honestly. Love the color. I think it was from Target, actually. Um, then we're going down the Lee shorts. Very casual outfit, right? These Lee shorts were from Walmart. I think I featured them in a couple of videos ago. Love them. They're so darn comfortable. And I like the length on me, too. So let me back it up. The shoes are what is going on in this haul, okay? They're a little bit funky, but... Let's just see, let's just roll with it and see how they are, okay? So I put them on with a little pop of the color that's coming from the heel in the top. And they are a snake skin on the, on the top of them. They're very comfortable actually, really comfortable. They're a little bit like fashion forward, but if you're ready for that, these might be for you. Okay, so let me show you these. They're kind of funky in a good way, okay? They're by Time and True, and here's what they look like from the side. I love the little snake skin. They are a more of a narrow, lightweight tennis shoe. I don't, for me personally, I don't like the bulky, heavy tennis shoes that tend to make your feet look like they've got 10 pound weights on them. That's not for me. So take a look on the side. They've got this cool little star in a beige kind of pattern. Then they've got the snake skin with the white. It's got the tan laces here on the top, which match perfectly. And then they've got this little pop of color on the back, which I tried to pick up with this top, okay? Um, I bought these in an eight and a half, which is my normal size. They felt very comfortable on my feet. Um, here's the thing. They were only $25. $25 is a great deal for something like this, like more trendy. If you go and look, there is a brand, I wanna say it's called Goose Something. Um, I know that every Eve carries these shoes and, well, not these, but a brand that looks like they're kind of beat up a little bit like this, that are a little bit funky. Anyways, those shoes are expensive. They're like three to $500, $600 for those shoes. So this, I would say, is kind of a dupe for those shoes. They're very trendy, but me personally, I would never pay three to $600 for a pair of tennis shoes. So these were a close runner-up from Walmart and $25. I mean, what a deal for something like this. If you want something a little trendy, they're going to go with the beige. They're going to go with white. They're going to go with gray. Um, or if you have a pop of color, like in the back, you can take a shirt like this and make this the focal point, your shoes. And then everything else kind of like, you know, looks good, but this is a pop, right? Right here. So let me know what you guys think of these. Um, fit is great again. And I just want to see what you guys think. Okay, moving on. Okay, ladies, another great possibility for summertime. I am loving this little piece right here that came from Walmart. I just picked it up this last week. It's by Time and True, and it was only $23. Wait till you see this. Look at all the gorgeous detail 
in the lace and the just the sheerness of it. I just love it. They had this in ivory and this rose color. Beautiful. So what I did is I paired it with a really pretty kind of like a lace detailed tank top and a pair of shorts, my Lee shorts from Walmart, and then a pair of heels. So I like that the um, this kind of kimono little piece comes lower than the jeans. I feel like that's a great kind of fun look. So here's what it would look like, casual, but a little sexy and a little dressier as well. So here we go all the way around. Doesn't it just add something cool? I don't know, it just, it's, it's a statement piece is what I think. And I love the color, I really do. And uh, I just feel like it kind of adds something interesting. So you could kind of wear it off to the side like this so it doesn't have to be so closed. There is no closure to this. There's no snaps, there's no buttons. So really you're just gonna have to kind of push it back like that or maybe bring it more forward. It's up to you but love this. Oh my gosh. It is really, really pretty. You could also wear this with a pair of capris, you know, on, and you know, it wouldn't come as lower than the capris, but it's still great. It would still be a really pretty look uh, with either jeans, white jeans and a different tank top or whatever, but just um, a, like it kicks up your outfit just a little bit, or maybe gives it more of that little sexy vibe, right? Okay, I have two more items and I'm not really sure about them, but we're gonna check them out, okay? And like always, you guys will let me know. So I'll be right back. This was one of the items that right on the hanger, I wasn't sure how it was gonna look. And I got it on, I was like, oh, that looks really cute, you know? So it's this top by No Boundaries. Um, I bought it in a medium. I like this little front twist going on here. And I just paired it with my Levi shorts from Walmart. Great casual look for around the house, just running your errands. So this shirt was about $8, yeah. So it came in pink. It's got these nice little cute little floral bunches on them. And I like the V-neck, that's my favorite actually. Um, from the side, this tie front or twist front is not so bulky that it makes it look a huge puff there, right? Um, here's the back. But what a cute little top to just wear with your jean shorts. You can even wear white jean shorts. Uh, you could pair this with a skort and it would look cute. Just very casual for summertime. It's way cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, I have one more top and same thing. I'm really not sure what to think about it, but wait till we get it on. Okay, I think we might be ending on a fail here, okay? so. The neckline is cute. You know, it's got this little ruffling, it's cute. The arms, you know, it's got the cap sleeves, it's got elastic at the, uh, at the ends there, which is fine. It's got this little puckering here and this ruching or um, kind of like gathered material here. And then it comes down underneath into this baby doll look. I think that's where the top loses me. So it's not bad, it's not bad. But I don't know. I, I, it's okay. It's all right. That's what I'm going to say about it. Um, probably wouldn't pair this with a pair of jean shorts because I feel like this top looks a little bit more elevated than a jean short. So maybe I would wear this with a skort, you know, maybe a beige colored skort, a black colored skort, something just a little notch up from a jean short. Maybe it would look better. So, you know, I, I don't mind the baby doll top. I've gotten tops in that and I actually love them, but something about this one, I'm just not sure about. So this one came from No Boundaries. It is a medium because I do tend to go up a size in that brand. Um, I think you had me from here. You know, it's like that Jeremy, Jerry Maguire movie. You had me at hello. You had me at from here up on this top. And then this kind of went south. Maybe if it was a little bit more of a fitted top or maybe just something, something different needs to be happening here um, than this whole loose baby doll stuff going on beyond it. So again, we had some interesting items here today. I hope that maybe you found something that you wanna check out for yourself. If you're interested, I am going to put my Walmart spring video links right here so that you guys can check out what else I found this spring at Walmart. They're killing it. 
people. Let me tell you, they're killing it. Uh, every time I go in, I tell you guys, it's like a treasure hunt. You know, I'm like looking for what's great. So it's always fun to shop and see what they're, what's new that they're carrying. Um, anyway, so check that out if you want. And until I see you guys next time, I hope that you're all having a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.